Hi, this is Kent Graziano, Senior Technical Evangelist with Snowflake Computing, and today I'm going to show you how to add a custom data type to Oracle SQL Developer Data Modeler. Now you might wonder, why do I need to add a custom data type to this data modeling tool? Well, if you've been working with Snowflake, then you know we have a special data type called Variant that we invented that allows you to natively ingest semi-structured data such as JSON directly into our cloud-native data warehousing service. Now, wouldn't it be great when you're designing your data warehouse that you can use a standard data modeling tool, design all the structures that you want, including tables, with a data type column of variant, generate that DDL, and then run it in Snowflake and have those tables build. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be able to do. So let's get started. First, we go to Tools and then the Types Administration Wizard off the Tools menu. And here we go to our third tab, User Defined Native Types. Now, Snowflake's not an option here in this tool, but since Snowflake is a standard SQL relational database, we can simply select any database. So I'm going to go with the Oracle 12C database. Press the Add button to get a new data type. And we're going to call it, of course, Variant. And then we have to map it to a logical type. And hit Save. And now we go back to the first tab where we're going to map the logical type to a native type. To do this, we're going to need to hit Add first, create a new logical type, also called Variant. And since we are working with an Oracle 12C definition, I can simply go in there and scroll down and look, there is my variant type there. Have to hit apply and then hit save. Once I've done that, I can go back to the user defined native types where I put the logical type of clob before. I can now replace that with variant. And this has now created my custom data type I can now use in my data models. So let's go into an empty relational model and create a brand new table. We're going to call it Snowflake Test. We'll add a couple of columns to it. We'll have a primary key column. That an integer data type. Make it primary key and mandatory. Then we'll add a second column to hold our JSON data. And of course, we want that to be a variant. So we'll find the variant data type down here, all the way at the bottom. Now let's make that a mandatory column as well. Apply. And then there we have our table definition ready to go. We can go take a look with a DDL preview. And there's my create statement, create table, snowflake test, test PK. And then there's our JSON data column defined as a variant data type, which we can then go over, log into your Snowflake account, execute it, and now you have created a Snowflake compliant table with a variant column that allows you to ingest semi-structured data directly into the database. And you did all of this from a standard data modeling tool, in this case, SQL Developer Data Modeler, that allows you to add custom data types. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you find it helpful in doing your data warehouse modeling.